some of y'all are too intelligent for your own good what does that even mean being too intelligent for your own good i mean intelligence is supposed to be a good thing you are intelligent you can think rationally that's supposed to be a good thing it would be a good thing if you were living in a world where the winged people were trying to control everyone look at it this way if you were a slave in a plantation and you were smarter than other slaves and you knew what was being done to y'all was wrong and you wanted to free yourself and free others and they couldn't really see that what is being done to them is wrong or they wouldn't really understand how wrong it is you know sometimes do people do bad things to us but we don't really understand how wrong these things are so you understand that no this is not how a human being should be treated this is not what life should be about i shouldn't accept this and no one should accept this do you think that the slave masters will make your life easy just because you're intelligent you'll be like oh ah, that one is intelligent you know that one is able to see that the way that is being treated is not right no the slave masters will consider you a threat and they will be harsh on you that is why most of y'all are too intelligent for your own good you are realizing what is going on and the people who run this world don't want other people to realize what is really going on i didn't realize how conscious i was until I became a guest in 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 this uh, show that I was telling you all about. I was like, "Bro, people don't, you know, I always say that people do not think, but dude. Today I woke up feeling like I'm in a dream or in some kind of a game." <laughs> Because the things that happen don't seem like they will happen in the real world you know what i mean it's like well this is this is just a game and you must just, the only way to win it is to just be more of who you really are so be that be more of you who you really are and you don't be afraid of you know being challenged don't be afraid of being hated I I couldn't believe how unconscious some people are like no, that that cannot be possible how do their brains work you say something to someone that is so true that even a child will be able to see that that is true and that person is incapable of seeing that that is the truth You're like come on man what is going on this this is it real right <laughs> It's how I feel bad. It's like this is not a real reality. You know, it's like some kind of a game. And I feel like I'm starting to enjoy it. I know that sounds crazy. But I think I'm starting to enjoy speaking the truth, telling people the truth and them not understanding me. Like that's like the more i do that the more i realize how right i am and that does make me feel good it doesn't make me feel good because i want to be right it makes me feel good because i realize what i've been through you see i realize that dog the reason why i was not feeling okay in this world was because people were just not conscious 
They were not as conscious as I am. So, of course, I will go through hell because I'm dealing with people who are operating at a very low level of consciousness. And I'm able to see that. Because there are some things that people should just understand. You know, we, we shouldn't even be debating about some things. Now, especially, um, you know, looking at how connected we are in the world like we shouldn't be debating about some things because now we are able to see things that we weren't able to see back then we are able to communicate with people who are very far away from us it's like if you really want the truth you can really find it i mean maybe not the highest truth but if you want to know if for example if you want to know for sure if christianity is true if you want to know for sure that that is the right religion to follow, you will know for sure if that was the truth. Like you, it will, it will, like the information will be there. You know, it's easy to research now. It's not like they you just uh, it's not like they just gave you a Bible and say, oh, this is the truth. Now, now you can watch other people talking about Christianity, which will like help you expand your awareness. It is good to listen to other people talking about. Um, topics that you're interested in that does help you expand your awareness because you know it's like every person is experiencing this reality from their own perspective so it's good to understand uh, things from other people's perspective so well you can just watch a video of someone talking about Christianity someone who maybe believes in Christianity or someone who doesn't believe in Christianity like that, that can help you you can you know try to see if miracles are really happening in, in this world. I mean, that's really important. We have technology that allows us to record things. Have we seen real miracles? And if we have not seen real miracles, doesn't that mean that there's something wrong? It seems like all the miracles that we've seen are fake. It seems like people are just using religion to make money because people are dumb as far because people are gullible as fuck because people are slaves because people have been indoctrinated and they're supposed to not see the truth because them seeing the truth will mean that they'll have to stop being slaves isn't that crazy though it's crazy that if i want to be loved where i live if i really wanted to be loved it would have been like i cared about uh, being loved, uh, being embraced by people. You know what I'll need to do? I'll just need to sell out. I'll just need to tell people that. I mean, th this, will, this will be perfect, actually. I'll just need to tell people that I was touched by God. I just need to fake something, right? I just need to fake something. Maybe stop making videos for like five, six months and then come back saying that, oh, I was really sick. I was really sick and I saw God, you know? Ever since I went on that life, I've seen God. And God is saying, do you know how much money I would make? Do you know how much money I would make? I'm talking about this year alone. I, I will be rich, bro. Just because I sold out. Just because I'm doing what the slave masters want me to do. But I'm real. You know, I care about the truth. You know, the problem is that if you manipulate people, I do believe that you are also setting yourself back. If you are going to manipulate people, I do believe that Something is going to happen to you because of that. Not like you're not gonna like really get you're not gonna get punished, but I mean if I'm right that consciousness is fundamental. I believe that consciousness is fundamental. Let's say in a in a certain reality, you are very manipulative, you are you know, deceiving people, lying to people, stealing from people. You know, you don't really care about anyone. You will also be devolving. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you'll be operating at a very low level of consciousness. And I think you will 
go into the next reality operating at that level of consciousness. That is why I was telling y'all that I think it is important that if you are an internationalist, if you are a true truth seeker, you embrace your wokeness. You know what I mean? Like you become more of who you are. Because that's what's going to free you. Because you, you take that with you to the next reality. So you won't be manipulated. I remember I was explaining on this show that uh, um, I, I was in. that I, I think what we call uh, demonic possessions is just people operating at a very low level of consciousness. Where all these entities are, you know. So if you want to keep on evolving, speak your truth. Be honest. There's something beautiful about being honest. You know, trying to have like a real human experience. Even if people are going to hate you, it's fine. It means they do really hate you. Would you really want to be loved for being fake? Think about it. You want people to know the real you. If they love you, then it means they love you. If they hate you, it means that they hate you. You see? So you need to be more of who you are. Even if it means that people are going to hate you, you must be able to see things as they really are. It is so important to be able to know things, you know, to know the truth. It is very important. Don't be afraid of knowing the truth. Listen. Knowledge is your biggest weapon. Being intelligent will help you gain knowledge. And knowledge is really your biggest weapon. You need to know. You see, what, uh, what's making your life really hard right now is the fact that you don't know. And you think you know, you see. And thinking that you know makes it impossible for you to actually know. So the real problem is that you don't, you, you think you know. That is the real problem because you thinking that you know makes it hard for you to actually know. So you lack knowledge. You don't know what's going on. And because you don't know what's going on, you don't know what to do. I mean, what do you do? What do you do? Think about it. Like, what what are you supposed to be doing? I mean, you're confused. Because you don't know. But if you knew exactly what's going on, you'd know exactly what you need to do. You would know exactly what you need to do. So you need to know what is going on. But start by forgetting things that you think you know. Because that's really that stop you from like really knowing. I'm telling you, if you're gonna operate at a high level of consciousness, you will know. There are things that are knowable that we think and we cannot know. Like no one knows this, no one's like you can know. I think that is really possible, you can know. But be more of who you are. And the reason why I'm saying this is because there are things that I'm seeing that I wasn't able to see before I became this conscious. That's why I'm saying you can know. So you become conscious, embrace your workness, you know, be who you really are. And if people are going to hate you for being who you are, you shouldn't have a problem with that. You should have zero problems with that. You want to know why? You didn't create yourself. Right? So who are they really hating? Like, think about it. You're 100% who you are. You're not deceiving anyone. You're not lying to anyone. You're not stealing from anyone. You're not uh, hurting anyone. You're just being you. And people hate you. Who are they really who, who, do, who are they really hating? I mean, you, you really did not create yourself. You know, you're just 
having an experience as you and they hate you so maybe they hate your creator whatever but you would really be experiencing reality as it is do you want to keep on experiencing you know this fake world that you kind of have created for yourself because of your fear you know i'm the type of person like if like if i'm in a relationship with a girl if i feel like she's not really that into me i do tell her like i'm not going to try to keep her Let's say, for example, she she wants to come over and she she wants money. I'm gonna tell her that I don't want to give her money, just to see if she will still be there. Like, are you interested in me as a person? Can you imagine? I mean, there are a lot of people who donate to this channel, right? Like, I've seen that happen a lot. I've never asked anyone to donate. People just don't it. But can you imagine if I say to y'all, or if if you are if you're donating, I'm making content. You'll be like, what? You you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm doing this because this is what I really want to do. I know that I'm speaking the truth. You don't want people in your life to just be there because there is something that they're gaining that uh, you have. You know what I mean? You, you want to be loved for who you are. You want a person to know you and actually love you for you. So if they don't love you for you, that is good. Let them go. Test people, man. Figure out why they are in your life. Don't be afraid of being completely left alone. You shouldn't be surrounded by people who are fake or people who don't love you enough or don't care about you enough. You don't want that. You want people that are going to be there and support you. So you need to know the truth. That is very important. So be you and see how the world reacts to that. That's beautiful. Like there's something beautiful about that. You become more of who you are and you watch the world react. Be like, oh, all right. That's you actually living life. Life will be showing you what it is and well, you'll be seeing it for what it really is. And you're going to know what you need to do. It's not going to be easy for people to manipulate you. It will get to a point where it's actually impossible for people to be able to manipulate you. So don't be afraid, man. You know, don't be afraid to use your intelligence to understand what is going on. Even if it seems to be working against you, you know, too intelligent for your own good. I think it would be more accurate to say that you're just too intelligent for the world. You're too intelligent to accept the bullshit that's going on in this uh, so-called reality. You're too intelligent for this. So of course, you're not really going to be happy with what's going on because people are dumb as fuck. Look, John Reagan likes to say, people are dumb as fuck. But that's the truth. People are dumb as fuck. And you have to deal with them. I mean, there's people everywhere. You can't just be live on your own, you know. It, it, it's hard. I mean, it's possible, but it's hard. So isn't it better to just see people for what they really are and understand what is really going on you know and if they leave you alone because you understand what is going on and you are speaking the truth that will even be much better hey you need to be strong man in this world, you need to be strong. I know internet is telling me sometimes that I can't, I, I can't really be myself because uh, this and that's gonna happen. Don't be, don't be afraid. Because think about it. If you're not going to be yourself, let 
like would you say that you've like lived i mean think look at it this way you're like playing a game and in that game you get attacked for really being good at it would you just would you stop playing you'd be like ah i'm not gonna play anymore I will, i'm gonna not be that good like i'm not going to like really like i'm gonna hold back oh you're gonna actually like play the game be like yeah uh, you know what i mean like attack me i want to see what the end game is going to be like show me what you have you know that's how i approach this reality like show me what you have what else there's something beautiful about that people shouldn't be holding back people shouldn't be dimming their lights that is actually being weak and um another thing that i've realized is that most people who are not conscious because they live in a world that favors them they do not dim their light you see so you dim your light you you are the voice of reason you are very intelligent you see what is going on but because you live in a world where intelligence is like a burden because people don't understand shit you you dim your light so these people that are not intelligent keep on and outshining you you know they keep on rising to the top because you are dimming your own light like wow Well, I live in a world where everyone is just like no no not quite I mean there are people who have subscribed to this channel who didn't know anything about antinatalism they watch my video and they're like ah but this guy is making sense I need to hear more of what he's saying but I know that there are a lot of people who have watched my videos and asked themselves is this guy crazy So do it for the few people that really understand you. You don't you don't necessarily need to do what I'm doing, but I mean be real. Don't 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 be afraid. Even if it seems like your own intelligence is actually working against you. It is much better to live. And what what do I mean? You are already in this world. Every day you do wake up. So why not just live this life and just try to see what is going on? And I'm telling you the more real you are, the more wisdom you're going to gain. The you know the more you're going to gain knowledge, you see. The more real you are. It's like this reality is just going to give you the right information. It's because you're real. If you're they if you're dating someone who doesn't love you, who's just trying to use you the more real you are the more you're going to see the true colors you see that's exactly what's going to happen if you are dating a person who does not care about you trust me if you became more of who you are you'll see their true colors that's what happens in this reality if you're going to come more of who you really are this reality will show you what it is it will reveal itself to you and you'll be like whoa You see, people who are getting manipulated are people who are fake. If you realize that the more real you are, the harder it will be for you to get manipulated because you will be seeing truth. But if you are fake, afraid of the truth, you going to get manipulated. Trust me. I mean, you get manipulated because you don't know know the truth. You don't have knowledge. And if you are not real enough to keep on evolving and understanding things better you're not going to have the knowledge you know that you that's required for you to like really elevate really understand what's going on so that you don't really get manipulated i know how hard it is to feel like you're the only one who sees certain truth You can see that something 
is wrong and other people cannot see that. Like, and if you try to explain to them, but I think this is wrong, they don't understand you. You try to explain to them in different ways, they don't understand you. I know, I know what, what that feels like, but it's the only way. I think you have to walk through fire, man. It's the only way. Intelligence is a burden. I, I do understand that, but it's, it's the only way. I've, I've spoken about um, this episode a lot before. Episode of Black Mirror called White Burr. It's, it's the most interesting episode that I've ever seen. Like the storyline, it's it's kind of like the True Man Show. But what what's more interesting is that it it's, it's it it seemed more real. Like it seemed more accurate. Like it's like it's like a, the metaf- the the best metaphor for this life. You know, it's like because yeah. look. Have you ever been in a situation where you knew that something was true and you were able to even prove that and people just seem to not understand you? That that anger that you feel, the pain that you feel will be the kind of pain that you would feel if you were in a situation where that woman was in. You know, that the situation that uh, that 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 woman was was in, where she just woke up without knowing what's going on. She just woke up, found herself sitting in a chair, and she was like, "What?" She got outside, and there were these people that were trying to kill her. And then she asked for help from people, and they just, you know, videotaped her. And she was surprised. She used to be like, "Why aren't you guys helping?" And they just continued to film her. It's kind of like that. You, like people are not <laughs> responding to things in a way that they need to respond. And you try to show them that, okay, this is what's going on. Why aren't you responding like this? Why aren't you reacting like this? It's kind of like that. That's exactly what is happening. If you are conscious and believe that the pain that... You feel when you try to express yourself, try to make people see what's going on, would be the kind of pain that you would feel if you were in, in that woman's situation. But it is good to see what is going on with people. You see, it is, it is good. It doesn't mean that just because people don't understand you, you must just comply. Can you imagine if that woman in her movie just started, took, took, took out a cell phone and started recording as well because everyone was recording and she just lived life like, like, will that, will that be good? Can you imagine if True Man in the True Man show decided to just, you know, live a normal life without really questioning anything? Well, movies like True Man Show do actually leave you with um, with very deep questions about life itself. Sometimes I ask myself, was True Man in a world that was better than the real world? Was it, that good? Was it good that he was being manipulated, he didn't know the truth? Was the real world better than that? You know, I do ask myself those, those kind of questions. Was the Matrix? Was the um, I forgot what the real, what they call the real world in the Matrix, but was the real world better than the Matrix? <laughs> it's a good question to ask yourself. But um, I think it's better to be in a world where you are not being manipulated. I think it's better to know than to not know. I've always wanted to know 
and knowing has not made me feel worse than I do. You know, knowing has always made me feel better. As long as what I know is the real truth. So I think it's better to know. Because if you don't know, you can find yourself being manipulated in so many different ways, suffering in so many different ways, you know. Can you imagine, man? Living in a world where you are a slave. You don't know what to do. You just found yourself conscious. <laughs> like, it's so funny that that's the reality of this world. Like, you just found yourself conscious and... Like, sometimes when I think about the fact that I'm conscious, I love. Like, dude, I'm conscious. And I don't know what is going on for me. Like, like, that's crazy. Just thinking that this reality could be anything is crazy. Just thinking that I could be in a TV show. <laughs> Like this could just be a TV show where that aliens have created because they were bored and you know that um, we're just entertainment for them. Like anything is possible. Like they're watching us. They're laughing at us. Like, this could be a dream. It's possible. Or that these beings that are, like, trying to study us. <laughs> like, anything is possible. When I, when I think... When I think about the fact that we don't know what's going on and anything is possible, I, 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 like that, that makes me laugh. Like that's, it, it's like a joke, but it's real. That like, we don't know what is going on for real. Knowledge is power. So try to do things that are going to help you gain more knowledge about what is going on. Even if it means that the world is going to hate you. Even if it seems like your own intelligence is working against you. You see, that's, that's not a problem compared to the problems that you'd face if you were fake. It's better to just know, man. So try to be who you are and, you know, try to understand reality for what it is. Look at... Look at it as if it's just some kind of a game. You know, you're in a game where you don't know what's going on and you win by... Gaining more knowledge, you know? Look at it that way. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to try to figure out what's going on. This is the game that I'm going to play. You know? Challenge yourself. You know, challenge yourself. Thank you all, guys.